This is Salamancer, you're watching Cell TV, and is not just not the cutest thing you have ever seen. The little pocket medic right there, beautiful. We would have a Highlander game today from the European scene, and it sounds like... Uh, my mic's probably okay, it's probably like at 100% volume. What is going on here? Oh, okay, he's uh, just sliding around on the rock. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, the teams are Cats Don't Eat Haggis right now in the red versus Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty in the blue. And this was uh, sent to me by a good friend of mine from the European scene, so hopefully we do have a good game for you here on PL Barn Blitz, a payload map. The n one of the newest ones that was made official by Valve. And I gotta say that uh, as far as payload maps go, Barn Blitz is not, in my opinion, not the best for competitive. I mean, since it's everything is basically played symmetrically, both teams are going to have the chance to attack and defend. It's, I mean, it's okay. It's just that it's kind of an annoying map. And Cruel Cow here using the, oh whoa, <laughs> using the uh, cloak and dagger. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to find a way past this sniper though. He's he's like oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. There's action going on out there, but this is too interesting. Oh no, he's going to get the stab. There you go. So uh, turns out um, Fury's eye from Cats Don't Eat Haggis. Can't hear decloaking sounds. And, oh, cruel cow, you are in trouble. Not long for this world. But right now, the car is just starting to get pushed. And I keep getting announcements on Steam for the Reddit Round Robin Dota Grand Finals or something? I have no idea. Anyway, um, oh, where is that sentry? Actually, it's probably in the house, like you would expect. And it is. Seems like a lot of players did die for the CDEC team, which is uh, Castoni Tagus, which I think is actually a UKCS um, clan team, and UKCS is a bunch of uh, UK servers. Seems like they have a very big community going on over there, so do check them out. I highly recommend it if you are a European player, or especially, especially a UK player, but if you are, you probably already know about them, so I am not being helpful. Anyway, it looks like Keep Calm Listen to Lefty in the blue. They are pushing forward. Uh, their soldier right now could have been in a position to deal some damage to that sentry, and the sentry is now down. So the cart very, very close to getting capped there. Shouldn't take too terribly long before Team Lefty gets out there and finishes it up. They just need to get this pyro in and blast people away from the cart. Push that cart! Got to get in there. Okay, so they're not going to push the cart at all. That's cool, too. There they go. Uh, of course, they did pop the Uber to try and take down, I guess, the sentry location and all kinds of stuff, which worked pretty darn well, you got to say. <laughs> but right now, 1 minute 42, not a terrible time for the first point on Barn Blitz. I don't actually know the standard times for Barn Blitz because I haven't casted it too much. Uh, I don't even think they use it in UGC anymore. Maybe they do, but it's more of a, a summer map for UGC. Normally, UGC reserves the uh, the kind of controversial maps for the summer. So this is, of course, well, I think it's ETF2L. Would make sense, considering it is a European TF2 league. And right now we are pretty much waiting for the Uber to build up our four dodgy. I'm pretty sure, anyway, that's what we're waiting for. The cart will get pushed here. Actually, they really need to be putting a forward front, like, up. There you go. They are a little bit farther forward than the, than the cart, which is kind of how you need to be. You need to be stopping the sentry from going up. And where is the sentry right now? don't even know, but they are going to pop an Uber in here and start trying to take down a bunch of players. Looks like they will be able to do just that. Got at least one kill on Jenny, and she's not going to be too happy there about dying, but looks like a little bit of a little bit of revenge as we do have oh, actually a lot of players down for Cats Don't Eat Haggis. So I'm pretty sure that Cats Don't Eat Haggis are going to lose this point because they do not have the typical oh, big crits coming in. Taking out a lot of players here with this crits from the demo, so I like that. I love seeing it. Problem is, they let a roaming soldier in behind and a spy who is going for this kill on the demo man. Not quite able to finish him off yet, and he can't hit this one shot. He's got like four health, but no, the spy, even though he knows how much health the guy has, it does not matter. Jenny now coming in, and wow, she actually gets a really nice flank here. Tries to take down the engineer, but not quite able to do that. Able to do a little bit of damage to the medic, but it is healed up almost instantly, so that is just too bad. Our UKCS team having some trouble here. Apparently this guy blames his mother, but you know, I uh, I think at this point his mother is not responsible for how they are playing TF2. And it looks like we missed it, but Omni apparently got a double kill with the Machina. 
So now we're pretty much waiting for the one of the hardest parts of this map. There are two really hard parts. This big hill right here, which hills are almost always awful. And then getting into the last point is pretty darn tough as well. So right now, it looks like everybody's still alive for keep calm and listen to Lefty. And what is the red team doing? They are pushing in here with I mean, a few players actually doing some pretty good damage to the medic right now. And they do take him down. So that's going to be dodgy having to respawn. And that gives them just a little bit of time for their medic to get the uber up to 100% Leticia. Manages to get that up there. And now they're actually in a pretty good position to defend this. The cart is falling right back down that hill as the sniper was the only one pushing it up. And if you're pushing times one up that hill, it just takes forever to get it up there. Really what needs to happen is the blue team has to clear out all their opponents from here, hold the choke points while they have maybe their scouts and like engineer or something capture the uh, cart. That's kind of how you have to do it. And right now they are pushing the scout at least forward, so he's going to start clearing out some players. But getting pressured here by Jenny in the corner... And Scout versus Pyro usually goes to the Scout. Pyro in a little bit of trouble here. But here goes a crits, and that is just going to start taking down all kinds of players. I do like seeing the crits creed coming out of these guys on defense. They've been using it remarkably well here on PL Barn Blitz. Uh, pretty sure we are going to see the barn get blitzed fairly soon, but right now the Spy just having fun destroying the sentry and making Gur H just a little bit angrier every time he does it. Sorry, did I say sentry? I totally meant teleporter. He's going to go ahead and reset that while the rest of the team fights. So he is, you know, kind of having the, uh, the easy job at the moment. And look at that. The cart actually moving backwards, still down at the bottom of that hill. So the lefty team really needs to get out there and do exactly what they're trying to do now, which is spam up here. What is the medic doing all the way upstairs? I don't even know. But is that a... Well, that is a nice little engine nest. I think they're actually spawning all the way on last, so that's interesting. But they do have the crits ready to go once again. We're going to see them jump right back out here and probably pop it right away. Uh, not able to do too much damage this time around. They got Barath, but that's just about the only one. And then they got more players because they walked right out into it. So that was um, intelligent play. Just kidding, not at all. And right now we actually have... Uh, that is the heavy, the big Mo, which is all I can see of his name right now. Walking out there, basically they were alone. It was just an ubered heavy, and that was it. Um, you're not going to do a lot of damage when everybody is able to walk away really fast from an ubered heavy. So they didn't get a lot of damage done right there. They've set a good time on the first two points, but these last two are tough, and it looks like they don't really have uh, a decent strategy in the works to get that cart up the hill yet. So if they do, it will be potentially more by luck than by skill at the moment. Um, they are trying to get their players forward, but every single time they are ready to do this, Leticia has the crits ready to go, and they're going to pop this probably on the heavy again. They spot the medic, so they really need to get that kill. And, yeah, this is going to be a slaughter. Oh, no! Actually, uh, the big mode takes down the heavy while the crits is going on. Still a bunch of crit rockets coming in, though, and that does once again clean up the blue team, so that crits was not finished. And uh, keep calm and listen to Lefty. I don't know if they're keeping calm right now, because this ain't working for them, and this is uh, potentially going to be a very difficult match if they cannot get this third point. Uh, well, not a, not a difficult match for their opponents. Their opponents should have a nice easy time. Anyway, we'll find out. There's a nice little engine set up right here, and I think everybody just kind of spawns up in this room now. Yes, they do. So not going to be too much difficulty getting to the front. The problem is establishing the front where they need to do it, and so far, not happening. Let's see. I'm going to watch Fury's Eye. Apparently Fury has an eye, and uh, it sounds Australian. Didn't know eyes could talk, did you? But they totally can. And, oh, takes a nice little shot there, but gets his head clipped off by Omni anyway. That guy with his machina is just going crazy right now. And Garner, back behind the enemy team. Oh, looks like uh, the blue team has actually decided to try a crits out as well. They take down the enemy medic, so Leticia gone. That's going to mean no crits Krieg for red for the moment. And look at that. Only two players left alive for red. One of them is this spy. Not going to be able to stop that capture, although he might be able to get the medic. No, Pyro spotted that out. Very good play by best sup ever. Best sup EU. I don't know. Best support EU. Um, but very good play there by that Pyro. And once again, we are missing all kinds of awesome stuff from Omni. That is too bad, because I really want to see that. But a lot of players still down for Castoni Haggis. So at this point, the lefty team does need to push as hard as they can into this point right now. Uh, get into the barn. Blitz the barn, as you will. 
And if they can blitz this barn successfully, they should just be able to push the card all the way to the end. But they need to basically spawn camp, and that's what we're doing right now. They are losing a lot of players. And the more players that respawn for their opponents, the harder this is going to get. So we're going to finally watch the Omni Cam again, because we pretty much need to do that. Don't you agree? He is uh, hes getting a lot of kills right now. So past performance is not always indicative of future results, but we are going to find out whether it is the case today. Uh, no, he just dies. Okay, well, we'll get back to you, Omni. We will get back to you. And right now, uh, Crit's going off once again for Dodgy, but he needs to back away from this, getting a lot of damage thrown down on him and his healing targets, the Demo Man. They didn't get a lot of kills out of that. Uh, Leticia actually still alive. So that Crit's Krieg is going to be ready for her pretty soon. And I would be surprised if they don't manage to use this quite effectively. Let me find their Demo, because Demo might end up taking this. Or the Heavy. They do like to crit that Heavy quite a bit. Although at this point... Oh, Omni going for another shot there. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like, yeah, the medic may actually want to pop on the heavy again. And here they go, popping it right away. They didn't even manage to take down Omni before somebody else got to him. Plus, this heavy is taking a lot of hits, and there goes the medic. So actually, this Grits Creek did not work very well at all. They did take down a Leftism on the Demo Man. And Dodgy now has 100% crits of his own, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see that coming in pretty soon. Let's try and find... They may just pop it on the Heavy. Let's see what happens here. Come on, Heavy. Get in there and crits everybody to death. So he takes two down right away. Doesn't know where the Sentry is. And the Sentry could be a big spoiler for this crits creep, but he does take down now three players. So they just need to finish off that Sentry. It is sitting over there in the corner is a pretty decent location for it. It is very protected from most spam until Lefty gets in here and starts laying down sticks right there. And the Heavy actually running right up to it. Plus, there go the Sappers. Very well coordinated. So that is going to be the round. There is nothing the Red Team can do about this now. Cart going to drop in through the little glass door. And kaboom! Everybody dead. So 10 minutes, 58 seconds. I gotta tell you, for PL Barn Blitz, that is not a terrible time. So we're going to watch and see what happens with Cats Don't Eat Haggis. And no, they don't. I mean, uh, they, I'm just kidding. They probably do. It's food. Cats are kind of dumb. And don't even try to tell me cats are smart. They are not. <laughs> There's always that uh, stereotype from the movies of, like, cats are smart and dogs are dumb. But that is so not true. Dogs are so much more easily trainable. They learn stuff a lot faster. And cats, um, cats are just more manipulative. They're not smart. They are instinctually manipulative. That is my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. So if you don't like it, you can just unsubscribe. Yeah. And you couldn't see it, but I was sticking my tongue out at you. I'm sure you could hear it, because sticking your tongue out sounds exactly like that. It sounds like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to sit around and wait for the spawn doors to open. It should happen pretty soon. And I do apologize for the, once again, the positioning of the, uh, the timer. It's just a little bit off there. But the stopwatch timer is what you need to worry about, because right now the lefty team did set a time of just about 11 minutes on the point. And their opponents now need to get all four points in under 11 minutes to win this round. It will be played as a best of three stopwatch rounds, just like uh, just like all payload maps pretty much are in these leagues, so that you can basically both teams have an opportunity to be on the offense first. And a nice little sticky trap here, but it's not uh, it's not at the doors. So really, they're just kind of expecting somebody to jump in and go for the medic here, I guess. Which I mean could happen, but I don't know if all that many successful smart players who are going to be jumping in against a heavy soldier and demo in the first place. They do force an uber, but uh, the uber from the UKCS team here, Cats Don't Eat Haggis, was popped first. Doesn't matter though, they just took down almost everybody. The only player left alive is going to be the Engineer, and Fury's Eye kind of looking for him right now. Actually, Communist is still alive too, but you know, the Engineer is the important one, because he's going to be the one holding on to, wow, Omni is just a beast. Oh, I was going to say he's going to be the one holding on to that sentry location, but uh, everything is sapped and dead. Oh, and this heavy doing some crazy damage before he finally gets stopped here. Uh, cart going to slow down momentarily as we do have a heavy medic combo coming in. Plus a nice little uh, play by the spy there to take advantage of everybody's focus on that combo. So the cart's not going to quite hit that first point right away, but it will pretty soon as screw me. He's jumping in. Well, I thought he'd be able to touch that, but actually not. The cart is still just a little bit behind. And there you go. Oh, another nice uh, stab and sap by Garner, who is playing a pretty solid spy. Actually, could probably go for some stabs here as well, but it looks like his team has actually taken out most of the defenders already. So, cats don't eat haggis. 
capturing at the first point. And, you know, some teams just have those names where whenever I say the team name, it sounds like I am beginning a sentence that totally should not end with capturing the point. And then it does anyway. Uh, Garner going to go for... Well, what is he going to go for here? I think he wanted the medic and then just realized that wasn't going to happen at all. So the Uber is popped right now for the red team. Garner waiting for the opportunity, going for the Byro, and does manage to take him down. So best sup EU gets taken down there. And then Garner actually body blocked the medic from even getting away from that Pyro. So the Pyro is just able to sit there and WM1 into him. And that means that once again, red medic dead. Keep calm and listen to Lefty, not having an easy time here on defense. And Garner just kind of waiting with that cloak and dagger until the cart hits this little turntable, whatever it is. It's called a turntable? It's called something. A ra round thing? <laughs> Shoot, I used to know this, because I used to have all those little uh, uh, wooden train track sets back when I was a kid. What are they called? Brio tracks, yes! I used to have those, and we had like a little turntable piece that totally, uh, totally, I should know what it's called, but... If it's turntable, thank you. If it's not turntable, I guess I sound like an idiot. Somebody will definitely correct me in the comments, though. So keep calm and listen to Lefty on defense right now, doing a decent job with their sniper, who seems to be kind of carrying the team at the moment. Omni, yeah, not doing a bad job at all. Look at that score. That is crazy. But right now, uh, Leticia almost has the Uber ready to go, and it does appear to be a regular Uber. They're, oh, they're going to jump in here and just completely demolish the red team if they can do it right. They do need to take down that sentry, and so far they're actually not able to. The Pyro doing some pretty good blocking here, air blasting people away. But they're... Oh, no, the sentry is still up. It's going to die pretty soon. No! Engineer kept it alive with that wrangled shield just for long enough, and the heavy here is going to get the drop on I blame my mother. So a decent defense, actually. Uh, they managed to get away from the Uber. The sentry stayed up for quite a while just due to that Wrangler shield. The engineer actually, is he still down? She, I'm sorry, she's still down. Barath, I don't know, um, but Jeebus body blocking for the sentry, and the engineer is still not there, so finally that sentry does go down. Barath probably a little bit sad that her toys have been destroyed. But you know that feeling when you're a kid and you make something out of Legos and you're like, yes, this is the most awesome thing ever, and your brother walks in and like breaks it? What a jerk, right? Oh, it's happened to me more times than I want to count. Reed, if you were watching this, just know I hate you. I, I, you're not my brother anymore. But, uh, oh, still actually a pretty decent setup on this second point, which can be tough to take out in this second point if that sentry up there is not taken down. But right now the sentry is down, so I'm kind of surprised that it's taking this long for the red team to get in and stop the capture. I mean, for the blue team to get in and capture. Okay, that's what I meant. Sorry. Surprise is taking this long for the cap on the cart for the second point. So, you know, where the first point was just a complete steamroll for the blue team, now it turns out that a forced uber there and some pretty decent defensive play is making things a little better for the second point there for keep calm and listen to lefty. So, team lefty is going to have to defend this third point for a little while so that they don't have to, you know, spend a full six or five minutes defending last, but that is not a good sign. They just lost their medic to a nice pipe there from Oh Boy. And Oh Boy is this match going to start getting exciting pretty soon as six minutes left to go, and our UKECS clan team starting to push up the hill with almost no interference whatsoever. The sniper doing some decent kills. Uh, it does take down the heavy. But can he stop this cart from getting pushed all the way up the hill? The Heavy's going to try to, and he does manage to take down at least one player. Jenny's gone, but now Fury's Eye coming out and doing some damage. Chucking the Jurati, and yes, the cart is back down the hill. That is a hugely helpful thing for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty. And all the players on the red team, because frankly, the longer you can keep that cart at the bottom of the hill, or at least keep them pushing it up the hill, the more useful it is. Fury's Eye just cannot hit people in the head right now. It's, uh... It's getting a little bit depressing watching that one. Sorry, man. <laughs> Cruel cow coming in, and he's going to try and stop this. And he just barely does. It. Wait, no, the cart is... Oh, wow, okay, just barely pushed up. That's pretty close. This pyro is just like maybe his corpse is holding it in place. But it won't be able to do that for long, especially if the red team has a crit screen coming after the medic. Crit stickies and rollers all over the place. There's only three players left alive for 
cats don't eat haggis right now. And are they going to be able to push this? I don't think they are. They need to send somebody just to suicide and keep the card at the top of the hill. But if they don't, it is going to drop down that, that hill very, very soon. I don't see the timer on the cart to let me know. There you go. It is starting to roll back, though. And there it goes back down the hill. That is a huge reprieve for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty. They might just be able to pull this round out because of their uh, defense here. And that crits in particular really helped them clear the team out from blue. So not doing too shabby right now. Omni, once again, to watch his cam. Come on, get some kills, Omni. Oh, missed that one. With the shot, but that's okay because the enemy sniper is gone, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Goes for the demo man pushing that cart, and he can't hit him. Plus, I can't apparently hear my machina sounds. Well, we'll see what happens. He's going to keep this, uh, he's gonna keep this thing... Zoomed in for as long as possible because you do, I think, get an extra little 15% damage bonus if it is fully charged. And you charge it by zooming in, just in case you didn't know that. Yes, you charge a sniper rifle. It actually took me forever to realize that, like when I was first starting to play, that you, the little electric meter thing next to it, I was like, what is this? And how do I do more damage to people? Turns out, it's, uh, it's a charge meter. And once again, that cart nearing the top of the hill and just not quite able to get there. Uh, and this is the downfall of Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty early on. They, you know, early on in the round, I mean, they were not able to push the cart up the hill because they weren't able to clear out their opponents first. And that is exactly what you have to do. You got to, you know, Uber in, clear out your opponent's sentry gun, hold these choke points. And while the choke points are being held, that is when you have your players in the rear pushing the cart. You can't be pushing it right now because you're just presenting an easy target for all those sticky bombs. But they actually do almost get it up there. And once again, it is going to start falling down. Uh, Demo is going to try and start pushing this. And even he cannot get it up there. So the Machina... Doing a little bit of damage here now, but yeah, this is uh, this is not the right strategy to be using on a payload map, especially when there is a hill. You have to clear out your opponents from their high ground positions and their defensive positions first, and then you use just one or two players behind your push to push the cart. So here goes a crits once again, but it is going to be actually countered by an Uber. There you go. That is exactly the, the, the strategy they need right now. And so they have cleared that out. They've got to be careful not to uh, not to get completely destroyed here by flankers and all that. But right now, they still have a decent uh, offensive position up here. They just need to reload, do some damage to that. Ooh, do some damage to that heavy, but that is not going to happen. Letitia does get a nice little needle kill on Communist Party of Russia. So the entire Communist Party of Russia is now devastated. They're going to have to respawn. Maybe they'll get Lenin back eventually. I don't know. But yeah, once again, uh, cats don't eat haggis. And no, that was pretty much just a sentence. Cats don't eat haggis. Turns out I, I just looked it up and they don't. You try it. Try it yourself. Go home, get some haggis, find a cat, see if he'll eat it. He totally won't. Uh, oh, Omni with another nice little kill there, though, on Gur H this time around. And Garner is all the way back in his opponent's spawn. So he's just kind of spawn camping here, waiting for somebody to respawn. But actually, there is, uh, there's nobody dead right now. Or is he waiting for the teleporter? Oh, he's in some trouble, though, as this engineer is... Uh, is he using the Jag, actually? That's not a useful thing. So, the Spy doing some good work here. He's going to try and take down all these buildings. Not actually able to get anything except the Dispenser, but that's a useful pick, uh, because the engineer is going to have some difficulty rebuilding everything and getting that Sentry up to level 3. It's just that his team is not able to push on this right now. With a minute left to go, and the cart still at the bottom of the hill, this is looking like it's actually a round win for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty. I thought that it was going to go in the opposite direction after what we saw on the first point, but uh, yeah, both teams, their strategies don't seem to be working all that well. They seem to fall apart here around point three when they're on offense, and so it's pretty much just a matter of whoever actually captures point three right now seems to be winning the round. Uh, they do very, very nearly have the cart up here, so this is a nice coordinated push, and they did a good job of pulling it up there. Problem is, here goes another Kritzkrieg, and this cart is not going to be up on that hill for all that much longer. So, plus there's like 30 seconds left to go in the round. So, pretty much we just get to uh, hang out here and wait until the round ends. It's kind of dead time at the moment because this is a pretty solid defensive setup here from our red team. I'm not sure if I agree with the dispenser positioning, but I guess it doesn't really block the sentry all that much. And Heavy's going to jump in, do some damage, but 12 seconds left to go it means that keep calm and listen to Lefty. Sorry about that. Goes up by one round, and we are going to come back after a short halftime break. Go grab your snacks. Just kidding. I actually, uh, I have to grab a snack. But we're going to be right back in like less than a second for you. See, look at that.
that halftime was like half an hour, but for you it was it was like literally 0 0.01 seconds. That is how long it was. Man, that is a long setup time too. A minute and ten? Maybe we should just cut that out too. Nah, just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Cause you want to watch. You want to watch the heavy with the gas mask walking around and the Bills hat. That is an interesting combo. Makes him look. Uh, makes him look like a French fighter from World War One. I'm not gonna lie. You know, one of the guys in the trenches, wearing a beret. That is what it looks like. Except that you know he's wielding a flamethrower and. Uh, well, other various things about him as well, I guess. Probably don't look too French. But Omni sitting back here again. We might just have to watch his cam for a little while here. As the mission begins soon. And what's it going to do? Yeah. Going to wait for somebody to uh, to spot to kill. So we'll see how, how the blue team decides to push this this time around. Last time they did not manage to cap, but that was because uh, they were on defense first and failed to beat their opponent's time. This time around, they get to set the capture time on whichever points they can actually manage to capture an Omni right now. Uh, can he get a double kill? Can he get a double kill? Can he do it? No, he's actually just going to whiff and hit the, uh, the house instead. So apparently, Omni can hit the broadside of a barn, believe it or not. He just actually showed us. He proved it. He can totally hit the broadside of a barn. Of course, not when he's aiming for it. But uh, the Communist Party of Russia backing off for just a second here. It's tough to play scout on a map like this. You know, you gotta pretty much just be passive almost all the time until your opponents lose a bunch of players, I, I would think. Because once they've lost a bunch of players, then you are probably okay. Dodgy building up a crits right now for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty. And a crits, is it the right choice here on the first point? I don't know, because you kind of want to keep a lot of your players alive. But the um, thing about these first points especially, your opponents are going to spawn so fast after you kill them that even if you get a crits creek that just totally wipes them all out, it's like 20 seconds later they're all right back out there. Although a nice stab by Cruel Cow on Letitia, and there is a crits. So we'll see whether uh, they can manage to keep Dodgy alive for long enough to deal some good damage. He did take down two players, Screwman and oh boy. But that is all he got there, and really, I think an Uber would have done almost as well, would have saved the medic, and, and he was at like 9 health before he got that uh, that big health pack over there, so honestly, an Uber would have saved him and made it a lot less risky. I don't know. I, I just, uh, I'm a big fan of the Uber. Bonk, I'm not a fan of. I'm just kidding. Bonk's fine. Especially if you need your scout to go get behind enemy lines, you know, run past a sentry or something. Take aggro from the sentry. That's a really useful thing to do. But we'll find out as our UKCS team... Cats don't eat haggis. Is pushing in, and they should have the first point captured fairly soon. Looks like Fury's Eye getting a headshot there on Omni, so he's probably feeling pretty good about that. And oh boy, jumps in, does some Jurati kills. They gotta watch out for this scout, but they do take him down and keep their medic safe. Right now, Cruel Cow going for some stabs and somehow manages to get away. So, don't exactly know how they managed to not kill him there, but very soon he is going to re-uncloak that's <laughs> just about enough prefixes for that word re-uncloak and try to get a kill here I would think although maybe not oh is he gonna take a teleporter that's a cute thing to do take your opponent's teleporter disguised as a pyro and then he's gonna try and oh well apparently that's not gonna work <laughs> because the engineer probably just took it down but uh, no he manages to dodge at least that and that's a useful thing to do as a spy especially on Highlander um, if you can't, like, get huge wicked chain stabs all the time, if you just come out and harass the NG and constantly prevent him from getting teleporters, you are being hugely, hugely useful. So Barath is going to have some trouble right now. Nice pickup of the sentry just to prevent it from taking damage, but there is going to be a spy ruining her day. It's never a fun thing. Here goes another crits, though. They take down Jenny right away, and they're going for some more kills over there. Oh, boy, is down. Uh, the medic here, I think, just respawned. Letitia, yeah is having some difficulty staying up and that's what she said but right now the red team actually just lost a bunch of players here too and they will have long long respawn timers so we are probably going to hear my chair continue to squeak for a while now we're probably gonna see this card get capped onto the second point fairly quickly here as cats don't eat haggis have a significant player advantage still. They've got an uber advantage. So the difficulty for them, once again, is going to be 
getting it up that hill after this point. We'll see if they can actually manage to do it this time around. Because, man, Barn Blitz, what a tough map for the third and fourth points. I mean, I'm, I know you've played it in pubs and whatever else, unless all you do is like 24-7 Dust Bowl. But uh, yeah, you try out Barn Blitz a couple times, because I promise you that you, unless you're on like a heavily stacked team, you will not be very happy with Barn Blitz. Uh, especially on offense on those last couple points. I mean... It's built so that you can sort of get up an unharassed teleporter most of the time. Because you set your teleporter up, like, right there, and I don't even think spies can... Oh, no, they can get up there! Just kind of use that. I did not realize that was put in there. So, yes, spies actually can get up there. But, yeah, so I, I thought it was going to be just a totally unharassed teleporter that you can get up. And, and kind of the map relies on having a teleporter, because if you don't, the distance you have to cover is just so immense. You have to go, like, from there all the way around this track with your entire team and so every time one of you dies it's another like 30 seconds or so just to get them back out to the cart. The Uber is popped right now but they're not really using it effectively. They need to be holding the choke points getting up here and making sure their opponents cannot stop them from pushing the cart up here but here goes a huge Gritzkrieg not able to stop the cart. So the cart does get up the hill and is actually pretty far away from that hill right now so it would take quite a good bit of dropping backwards. But we'll see if Lefty's team can manage to hold it out. Because uh, so far I've actually seen them doing some pretty darn good defense work. The Engineer is going to set that sentry up in the same location that worked so well for them last time. They've got to watch out that there is a teleporter, and I think it is upstairs now. Let's see... where is it? Where is the teleporter? Okay, it is like right in this little upstairs alcove. Which is a nice useful place for it to be. That's going to get the Spy right around behind. Nobody able to notice this. And the Pyro up here as well could go for some pretty huge flanks, but they need to get on this cart right now before it falls off that hill again, and they are not doing it. There you go, the Heavy is going to start pushing it there. Whew. That was a close one. And now they are oh, very close to getting it to the point itself, after which, like, once you get it onto those points, of course, it can't roll backwards behind the point. So you can't lose a point after you've captured it. Just a, a nice, neat little thing that Valve implemented, you know, at the beginning of this game, when they first made it. But yeah, it's useful. And Letitia, 95% Uber. I keep wanting to say Latigra because Zoolander is a hilarious movie, but uh, no, Letitia's got 100%. So they can once again pop in here, try to take down the enemy sentry gun, do whatever, unless the medic just stands still and gets his head shot off. So we'll, we'll find out. Uh, Crit Screed coming out, and they didn't pop their Uber. They dropped it. Pop it, don't drop it is always good advice. Always good advice. And that was just a pretty huge crit. So once again, our red team just holding out on defense a little bit longer on that fourth point, or third point, not fourth point, third. Cruel Cow coming up and looking for the teleporter, not able to find it because it is gone. And so now, a decent high ground defense with some flanking capabilities for our red team could mean the destruction of this push as the card is once again falling down that, or well not falling down the hill yet, but it was rolling backwards for a little while, which is uh, not what the blue team wants it to be doing. Heavy is going to get taken down here, and the cart very close to getting captured still, but Cruel Cow is just, he's taking, you know, he's finding all of his uh, backstab opportunities taken away from him as the rest of his team is too busy getting the kills, and he's just like, come on guys, save some for Cruel Cow. But he's pretty much just going to wait for these guys. And this is the exact problem with Barn Blitz. There's no teleporter up right now. So Cruel Cow can just kind of like sit here. And whoever he picks off is going to have a terrible respawn timer. And there he goes. Gets the medic. He can run away. And so if, if anybody's, you know, try to chase him down and find him back here, that's just going to mean it takes even longer for the rest of them to get up to this point. And they're not going to be cohesive when they get here at all. There's only like two or three of them here at a time. The Crits Creek is popped. They're trying to use stickies to take down their opponents. But those stickies not quite aimed correctly. The cart... Falling down once again. It is not quite falling down the hill yet, but it is getting close. And it, Cruel Cow is still behind enemy lines. Oh, can't quite get that stab, though. But the farther this card goes backwards, the closer it's going to be to falling. And I think if they can actually... Yeah, I like this move by Lefty's team. They want to try and have an aggressive defense here just to prevent their opponents from even touching the card, but they do touch it. And so the aggressive defense may not actually work out in their favor uh, where is their sentry right now? Oh, it's in a different location. I like that move. Barath uh, doing a pretty good job there. Moving the sentry and just making sure that his opponents, her opponents, are never quite able to find where it is. I'm pretty sure the Wrangler is allowed in this league, right? I think. Oh, there goes your sentry. All your toys broken again by those mean old blue guys. 
Wow, I can't even talk today. Cart probably getting dangerously close to falling down again. Yeah, there it goes, but uh, every single time it happens now, the Castonied Haggis team is able to stop it. And uh, so they're going for the kill on this demo man up here, which is not a bad idea, but they really want to go for the med, and I think they did get him, so dodgy down. Cart very close to captured, but not quite. Leftism still doing some damage. Seven health left, but they aren't quite able to finish him off, and the blue team, once again, this is a lot of players not able to get the cart capped. Um, part of it is they just don't have a good forward hold position before a cap, so pretty much what they're doing is they'll walk out here, and as soon as they walk out here, they start trying to fight, um, which they kind of maybe need to just set up here first, sort of have a staging area, have like their engineer set up a good uh, base and even if it doesn't have a teleporter, they can still all kind of gather up and make a coordinated push instead of doing what they're doing now, which is pushing with like four players. Because that is unlikely to work. And the cart, once again, inching away from the point. And is there anybody in position to try and stop this from happening? No, this time around it might actually fall down the hill if they're not careful. They need this soldier to get up on that cart right now, but he's not able to push forward. And that's probably going to mean the cart will fall down the hill. What a morale breaker if it does, but no, they are going to start pushing it once again and just keeping it at the top of that hill. Kritzkrieg again, though. Keep calm and listen to Lefty. Just pulling out the clutch defense on this point. There is not actually a lot of time left in the round, I don't think. Maybe it's like 340 or so. I can't really tell. It's it's still you know plenty of time to get it up there if the team can manage it. But Cats Don't Eat Haggis having some real difficulty, and Gomez spots Teleporter, which is just a little bit too far forward to really be useful. Um... It is getting repaired, though, so that's not too bad. Of course, you can repair both ends of a teleporter just from hitting either end, so the engineer is probably sitting there repairing it from the entrance. But look at the cart. It is so close right now to getting pushed down, and I thought that spy may just start trying to cap it a little bit and keeping it up there. But if this cart falls down the hill, that's it. It's over, man. It is over. And right now, there is there anybody in position to stop this? No, once again, the cart could fall down very, very quickly here with a very aggressive forward hold. Is there, it looks like there may have been a soldier up there trying to deal some damage to the sentry. So they did take down the sentry, but the crit screen goes off once again. And they're not even able to get a lot of kills with it because there's just nobody there. But the cart is about to fall down the hill, and there it goes. So I'm pretty sure that Lefty's team has got this one in the bag, unless they are just totally unable to capture the third point when it's their turn for the offense this time around. So we're going to watch the Omni Cam for a little bit, see what he decides to do with this. Looks like he's going to decide to not hit his opponents. Just kidding, I'm not making fun of you, Omni, but he's a pretty darn good sniper. Kind of making sure that nobody gets up here to the flank. I think maybe his opponents were called out as being there. And remember that every time he gets a fully charged body shot like that, it is still 165 damage to his opponents. So, uh, like a demo man, for instance, he could take the guy out with one shot. But there goes Sniper. Now, Letitia does finally have an Uber, and they are going to pop this pretty soon. Yeah, there you go, just barely countering the crits there. Almost died to it, actually, but Leftism is going to have some difficulty killing invincible players, even with the Kritzkrieg. So they do take down the Heavy right away. Leftism still alive. The Medic does get taken down, though, and there you go. That is exactly what the UKCS team needed. Castonite Haggis will try and push this cart up the hill. They just need to hold the choke points. You need to get somebody up here watching that choke, watching that choke. They need to be preventing the team from getting out here, because every time somebody gets out here, they do at least one kill's worth of damage. So you look at that Fury's eye down right now, but they finally get the capture. It was uh, probably the longest cap in the history of Barn Blitz. Just kidding, it's probably not, because Barn Blitz is a terrible map. <laughs> it's not a terrible map. But for competitive play, I mean, it's it's very, very turtle-heavy on these last couple points, especially. Very difficult for teams to find a way to break that turtle defense, especially at a lower level like this one. And I, I don't say lower level because I hate these guys, because they're awesome. But I don't think this is Div 1, because the teams aren't making, you know, the perfect strategic decisions here, like, you know, push ahead of your cart and hold the choke points. So I, I would say this is lower level just because of that. You know, they probably aren't going to beat, like, a Colony or a Turbo Poop Esports team. Spy hanging around here, and they do manage to kill him, but not before the sentry is dead, and I think he actually took down the engineer as well. So if anything, uh, Castone and Haggis should be able to get in here and deal some significant damage. Maybe get the cart. They need to get a bunch of kills, though. That's the difficulty with Barn Blitz. you got to kill your opponents inside the barn, which is not an easy task to do. And Apache Flame just says, okay, you know, I was going to try and get behind there. And then there was a heavy, so I decided that would not be a good idea. There he goes anyway, getting pooped on. 
And oh boy gets shot down by Omni, so the uh, the push here is basically they're going to have to wait on their medic to get the uber, which they will do. Screw may try to jump into the top, which I didn't even know you could do that. Did you know that? You could totally jump into that window. Did not know that at all, but that is a useful thing to do. Anyway, the uber is going to come in. There was an attempt at a crits to try and stop this, but not going to happen at all. They're going to try and take on the medic who managed to just get away with 130 health, and they're pushing the cart, but pushing the cart isn't what they need to do. They need to take down the sentry and take down the enemy players. Going for the stabs, they do actually get a stab on the Communist Party of Russia, so once again, that Communist Party getting stabbed in the back, but I think they are no strangers to that sort of uh, that sort of play. You know, just ask Trotsky. Anyway, Jeebus is uh, jumping up here, and he seems to be playing flank defense right now, which is a pretty good thing for him to do, uh, making sure his opponents cannot get a high ground position up here because if you get this positioning and you get up into this wow my camera work is terrible if you can get your players up into here then you have a pretty decent high ground position that your opponents can't really do a lot to counter and right now uh, the big mode heavy is down but there is a crits ready to go and they are probably going to pop it on lefty once again so they're going to keep calm and pop the crits on lefty and pretty soon I would expect to see them do that. They needed to find their opposing medic, but I guess they're just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and lose most of the crits for no reason because there's a pyro blasting them all over the place. So Jenny did a decent job of shutting that crits down. Leticia almost has an Uber again, and is just hanging out here. This is a pretty typical hold position right now for both teams, as when you were attacking and you don't have that Uber yet, you just kind of wait around. Where is that spy though? I heard that. We all heard that, but apparently uh, the spy is nowhere to be seen. This guys need to push in with this. Time is of the essence. Oh, this spy. Oh, this spy. No, okay, they spotted him. That's too bad. I thought he was going to get that, but he's not. Anyway, the push is ready to go now, so they just need to get in there and do it. And there you go. They will pop that. And the pyro, ready for it, 100%. So the pyro dies, but it does exactly the job they would expect her to do. The sentry gun is actually down right now, though. And, oh no, that's everybody on cats. Don't need haggis dying. Yep, complete wipeout. So, the time on this last point is, if they even cap it, is going to be insanely long. So that's going to give a lot of opportunity to Lefty's team to beat it. <laughs> you heard me right. And if they can't get the capture, then that makes it even easier for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty, because they only have to capture the three points, or capture the... Well, you know, if they capture the three points, then they capture them in... Uh, they have to capture them in less time than their opponents did. If they don't do that, then they have to capture all four points, but they showed that they were able to do it the first time around anyway. And right now, all kinds of action going on as the red team is trying desperately to keep their opponents out of the barn... They do not want their barn getting blitzed, let me tell you that. It's almost as bad as getting your jimmies rustled. And the Uber is at 100%. Here they go, going to start invading and attacking. And they do manage to take down Screwmay, so the demo gone for the moment. But wasting crits on the mini sentry is not really what you want to be doing. It's just they couldn't really effectively push out because that mini sentry was just going to deal nonstop damage to them. And here comes a pyro. That's going to be kind of scary, but Lefty manages to get a double pill kill right there. Going huge. And he will now start laying down some sticky bombs here at the entrance of that stairwell just to keep his opponents from trying to walk in and take the high ground. Skruma gets backstabbed, and yes, there is less than a minute left to go in this round, so it's very possible that Keep Calm and Listen Lefty will actually get the capture here. Omni doing some decent damage to his opposing sniper. 14 health left on Fury's Eye but apparently Fury's eye can still see and is still furious. I don't know. I don't know. That was terrible. Don't even ask where that came from. Jenny trying to keep the rest of the team alive at this point. Uh, not a lot of time left for them to capture this point. If they can't capture it, they are in trouble. No reflect there to save her own skin. And 90% Uber just about on Leticia with only 10 seconds to go. Um... There's just barely enough time to get the Uber ready and push the cart if they can keep it in overtime. Or the spy will take him out. So I blame my mother gone, Letitia gone. And by him I meant her for Letitia. But, yep, even if it's overtime, it's not going to last all that long. And there you go. 
a successful defense of their fourth point by Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty. So very shortly we're going to get to see them push out on Barn Blitz. They're going to blitz that barn, and there's two ways for them to win now. So I would expect this round to go to them as well. Not a bad little game here, but uh, possibly just a bit more one-sided than I was led to believe. Just kidding, I wasn't led to believe anything by this match. They were just like, hey, check out this match. And I was like, okay, because I love checking out matches. It's almost as awesome as checking out people. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm pretty much sitting around here, and this has been like the first weekend in a long time where I have not had class, and it feels so good right now just to be sitting around doing nothing for an entire weekend. It's pretty much the greatest feeling ever. I gotta go back to class next weekend, though, and it's gonna be competitive strategy with the world's most difficult professor. He's an awesome guy, but, I mean, oh my gosh. Um, you go in there, and, and so it's, it's, it's a strategy class, right? It's all about corporate strategy, which means that you got to do a lot of discussion. you got to understand how to think about it. And if, you, if you're if you not thinking about it correctly, this professor will just, like, lambast you. It is awful. He, uh... <laughs> he will call on you. He knows. He's just, he's like a laser. You know, he's just like, hmm, this guy looks like he doesn't know what he's talking about. So he'll call on you, and he'll be like, please explain this. And you're like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, it's a great class, though. So, uh, looking forward to it. It's just going to take up, like, 20 hours of my time next weekend. And that's not, that's not an exaggeration. It will literally be 20 hours. Anyway, the push is getting ready to go here, and 12 minutes just to capture the third point. The Uber is popped for the red team, so Dodgy actually still staying in spawn. That's kind of useful, and it looks like the UKCS team's actually dropped a player here. Not sure who that is they dropped. Is it their engineer? No, not their engineer. Um, hmm, scout? Now looks like they don't have a scout right now. Not a huge deal to be missing a scout, but that's just one player they don't have. And Omni gets a nice little kill there. Cart's getting pushed right now, which is, of course, typical. Dodgy just needs to bring his team forward. Yeah, there you go. And they need to pop this sentry wherever it happens to be. Sounds like Letitia did go down there, which means no more Uber for them for a little bit. Sentry getting spammed, but it is getting repaired nicely by Gur H. Gur H? No, I, I don't really uh, I don't really know what that name is referencing. Sorry. Somebody will. But, wow, Cruel Cow is going on a rampage right now and just completely destroying the red team. So, Leitisha just barely starting to heal, and no, nobody getting healed by this right now. So, not even able to build the Uber. Dodge is going to have 50% by the time Leitisha starts building. There you go, yeah, 50% advantage for the blue team. And already they have captured the first point. So, this is looking solid here for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty right now. They need to start pushing the cart up to that turntable as quickly as possible, and yes, I'm going to keep calling it a turntable until told otherwise, and since I'm not casting this live, I'm not going to be told otherwise, am I? Not until the comments roll around, which I do appreciate, by the way. <laughs> All the comments on my last uh, gameplay video of, like, me dying a lot, um, that's actually the most comments I think I've ever gotten in, like, an hour-long period after I posted a video, and it was because I named it Don't Watch, and of course, if I name it that, then uh, I'm basically begging for comments saying, well, I'm going to watch anyway. <laughs> but you know what? I've done it too. And it's still hilarious. So I do appreciate the comments is my point. And yes, I do read all of them. Um, YouTube actually sends me emails about my comments. Like, each separate comment gets its own email. So I'm always like, oh, nice. I just, uh, whenever I have free time, I sit down and read all of them. It's not, not an insurmountable task by any stretch, because I only get, like, maybe 50 a day if I've released a video. It's not all that many. It's not all that many to read. So, already the cart getting here to the second point, and look at how much time is left. Nine and a half minutes, or even more than that, for the blue team to get the cart up this hill. A nice little uh, flanking maneuver by the scout, or I'm sorry, the pyro here. Jenny will take down the sniper, but that is just about it. Leticia with the medigun only at 60% uber or so, and I don't know if they're going to be able to defend this, honestly, because right now the blue team is doing a pretty good push, but the thing is, uh, they're still a little bit too far back. They are pushing the cart, and they're not pushing their opponents. In fact, I think I'm going to use that as my new, uh, my new phrase for whenever I see somebody doing something wrong in a payload map. You are pushing your cart, you are not pushing your opponents, and that is a problem. So, sounds like... Oh, actually, okay. So that is definitely an Uber, and the Medic set off Feeder Zane, which is news to me, because I thought the Medic would only say that for a Quick Fix or a Critzkrieg Uber, but apparently they say it for the regular one now as well. So you apparently... There is no vocal difference between those two. 
Um, but they do manage to get away from that for now. And gonna jump down and start trying to deal some damage. Just, just that heavy was in position to do some crazy flanking. And this engineer is not looking too happy right now. Trying to chase down leftism, but it's not gonna happen at all. The card is already up the hill. Eight and a half minutes left to go. This is going to be a win for Keep Calm and Listen to Lefty. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So. We do thank you for watching Sal TV, me and this hungry, hungry heavy right now. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen quite as beautiful a heavy face as this one. Uh, not even eating anything at the moment. But I do thank you for watching Sal TV and subscribing and commenting and whatever else it is you do. Um, of course, I do like my channel to be considered the place for new players to come and spectate a game and kind of understand what's going on. Uh, try not to keep it too jargon heavy or, or like too abstract, but let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you understand the game a little bit better while I am casting, and of course I will answer your comments if you have questions as well. Do drop me a line.